that AI is going to destroy the world. Okay. You can automate everything. Nowadays, what pays is creativity. Will this uh, replace human beings? Can either help us not destroy the world or help other humans destroy Alejandro Caponel, the founder and CEO of Tutores, an e-learning platform established in Panama. Hello Alejandro, welcome. Um, yeah, can you introduce yourself? For sure. My name is Alejandro Caronel. I am Director of Innovation of the City of Knowledge Foundation in Panama and I work every day with entrepreneurs and now with entrepreneurs and artificial intelligence as well. So there is a theory that, for example, for farming, that corn and wheat is farming us, that they are the ones that are farming people so they can still live and then reproduce all over the world. And instead of us farming wheat, wheat is farming us. Do you think AI is doing the same thing with us? I don't think right now AI is doing anything like that. I don't think it's, uh, we haven't get to that level where we have to be scared about AI thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that we've seen in AI lately is inputs or prompts from uh, humans to create mm -hmm. stuff. However, and, and going back to your example, mm -hmm. I mean, if we still want to eat the corn and the wheat and they still want to be alive, I guess it's like a symbiotic, uh, situation also I, I don't think it'll be super bad and I think as humans we have created so many stories in in science fiction and movies that AI is going to destroy the world but at the end of the day I think humans are the ones that are destroying the world and I think AI can either help us not destroy the world or help other humans destroy the world the world faster so I think it's, it's all about how do we use these technologies that, that will change the, the world positively or negatively. I guess no one 20 years ago, when they were thinking about the problems with AI, they will imagine it will be used to create a song between a pop star and a rapper, right? Yeah, and that's just one of the many examples that, that generative uh, technologies of AI mm -hmm. have, have been uh, used lately. So how would you say a general person can apply AI? for their day-to-day. -day. What's the, the tool that everyone can use now that you think would be very useful? Well, I'm gonna say that the, the tool that it's out there and everyone is using is uh, ChatGPT, you know? Everyone is using ChatGPT. It's, it's the best assistant that you can have right now. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit behind or a little bit uh, before that. And I would say like in the last months, I would say since the end of last year, a lot of regular people like us that are not necessarily developers or or, or techni technicians or something have been using a lot of AI and he have been using a lot of generative technologies that have helped us in our works in our daily life and that's because these AI tools have now uh, or are now being created to understand natural language processing which means basically now you can communicate with with this technology you know so this opens a, a plethora of uh, different technologies that, that people can use in everyday lives and, and one of the examples mm -hmm. which is text-to-text -text, is ChatGPT and mm -hmm. similar ones for example uh, the one that Bing is using um, and, and some others that are out there. Do you think like these AI tools will replace Google? I don't think they will replace Google as of yet. I think that the great thing about tools like Google is that you have uh, real-time data and you as a human being are asked to see if one information is real or not. And I think it's very difficult for an artificial intelligence that is learning from everything, from the good and the bad, to be able to replace right now uh, something like Google. I guess in a couple of years, uh, because of the speed that everything is evolving, it might be like a good complement for Google or search engine tools. Now, for example, how does a search engine can uh, discern or can identify if an information is 
true or not and then just don't show it because you can teach uh, young people or elder people mm -hmm. or people in general like how to check or fact check but still everyday people get uh, scammed or mm -hmm. faked because of, of false information. No? So I think maybe tools like uh, Google or, or Bing or whatever mm -hmm. can use these AI technologies to help people like us uh, not to get into these kind of uh, scams. No? So just to find general information and to give like a fact check about stuff. Yes, I would say that that's mm -hmm. one of the ways that AI will, will help us with, with technologies. I don't, I don't think, and, and, and I don't think mm -hmm people right now are using or they shouldn't be using ChatGPT or others like that to get fact information, mm -hmm. factual information. Mm -hmm. I mean, these technologies are not ready yet. They're creating a lot of great information, uh, but they have a lot of, uh, and they call it hallucinations, which is basically that they are, uh, that they just, be, because they have to give an answer, mm -hmm. they give whatever answer they, they have now. And, it, and remember these technologies, these AI tools were trained with billions or trillions of data points and probably many of them are, are faulty or mm -hmm. or biased or whatever. No? So that's the problem with using this as your main search engine. ChatGPT doesn't give you 100 or 50 or 30 options or pages. Mm -hmm. It gives you one answer. So that's a problem. No? So if, if how do you make sure this one answer is the correct answer? Okay, so it could be biased then for that sense as well. It is, it is right now very biased in some some informations mm -hmm. and for example in, in image creating mm -hmm. or image generative uh, tools for example Midjourney or uh, Stable Diffusion stuff like that uh, they are creating images based on whatever they found online uh, or they scraped online and all this information can be biased you don't you don't know where was that database who created the database and they're creating bias bias uh, results as well so what about the positive part how can someone for example in the day-to-day -day, let's say you work for a corporation and normal business person manager or just lower level how could they use it well there's so, so many ways to use it i would give some examples and depends on mm -hmm. the type of work you do uh, there are many many others uh, let's start with the basics, ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a tool that you can use to make your life more efficient and faster. Let's say you want to write an email and you mm -hmm. just have the ideas like what I'm going to write or someone send you an email and you want to give uh, or respond an email back. You just copy that email, say, tell ChatGPT like, hey, uh, I received this email. I want to uh, respond in a cordial way. I want to say no, but without uh, being uh, too pushy. So you give them the, whatever you need mm -hmm. and they will create that, uh, that email for you and it's just gonna take some, some seconds, no? Uh, an another way, there's a lot of automation tools. Mm -hmm. For example, if you every day you have to create uh, a report out of the emails that you receive or the posts that you see of your brand, uh, everything now can mm -hmm. be automated. The assistants, there's so many AI assistants that you just plug into your own uh, for example, WhatsApp or email or whatever, and it filters for you and it responds for you and it automatically does the follow-up for you. Mm -hmm. And if you're in sales, it connects to your CRMs. So there, there's a lot of a lot of ways right mm -hmm. now. And I would say, if, for example, if you are creating uh, content, there's so many AI tools yeah, for content Yeah, for marketing. Someone working on marketing, how could they apply it? Or there, There's many ways, for mm -hmm. example, uh, some years ago, you, you uh, I, I know you know Canva, mm -hmm. which is a platform where you can where you can create stuff and design stuff without being a designer. Mm -hmm. Canva now has some AI, AI tools, generative AI tools, so you don't even need to buy stock photos. You just type whatever you want, mm -hmm. and it will create a stock photo. And for example, recently I saw uh, an AI tool that you describe what you want, and it creates a landing page automatically. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the whole so, website. The whole website the okay. whole website and there's some tools that for example take a text so so let's say let's give an example mm -hmm. you are you work in marketing so you want to create some content you are mm -hmm. selling let's say blue jeans jeans and you just you start with chat gpt hey chat gpt i have these blue jeans that they're very comfortable they're blue mm -hmm. they're whatever and i need to, uh, uh, a summary and i need a, an article describing that so it creates an article mm -hmm. obviously you give them the the little tweaks in that and afterwards you take that article you post it online in your blog and you connect it to a tool that mm -hmm. automatically automatically creates 
uh, small bites of this mm -hmm. in text so you can also put it in your in your automation of your uh, Twitter for example mm -hmm. or X and now you you now you take these snippets and you create with Canva or with Adobe the online tools for free and you create small uh, images for that so you can post in your in your mm -hmm. in your networks and you also take another AI tool where you put all this article and it creates a narration so you, you can now upload it in the podcast mm -hmm. form so so oh, many, the podcast, yeah, right? yeah yeah so many you can create a voice only podcast based on a post that was created by ChatGPT so okay. you can automate everything and you just I would say nowadays what pays is creativity mm -hmm. creative people are the ones that are taking the most advantage of this and no I know what you're thinking mm -hmm. like will this uh, replace human beings and and as I said before in another uh, interview I had I think AI is not replacing people I think AI is replacing people that do not use AI okay so that the the main issue right like yeah. if you're not using it then even for yeah, in all fields even for medical fields as well as going into that yeah that's very interesting so what about other type of businesses besides creating content marketing what other i mean you're working entrepreneurship what other very creative way people are using this basic ai tool for businesses that people don't usually think about it yeah there's uh there's a lot of uh people using the apis of chat gpt for example api means What's an, an, API? Yeah. an api means basically that that you can connect to this uh, already existing tool and you take advantage of this tool mm -hmm. so for example we have in our incubation program we have uh, an entrepreneur that uses the power of ChatGPT and connects it to his mm -hmm. own website so what he's creating or what he created mm -hmm. is something called uh, a lean canvas lean canvas is one of the most used tools for uh, entrepreneurs so basically it gives you a business model in nine blocks uh, what's the, your client what's the problem what's the solution what's the mm -hmm everything so what he does is that he has the link canvas and ask you all these questions and when you start typing what's your client and you say hey my clients are uh, men from 18 to 45 that need to shave frequently because they have uh, facial hair but where's the big news exactly sorry in which type of programs or no this is just a, a, a website that he created okay so he created this website and he asked you some questions mm -hmm. And in the Link Canvas tool, you as a person, as an entrepreneur, need to fill out every block of the, of the Link Canvas. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're creating your own business plan. What he did is that it lets you start creating the Link Canvas and then it automatically starts suggesting the rest mm -hmm. because of ChatGPT power, AI power. So you start creating the client and then automatically it, it says, hey, this can be a good problem that you can make solution for these people. Mm -hmm. You're like, ah, maybe, maybe this, and you start creating, and the more input that you give, the tool, it's, so it's screening smart. A it's creating a target audience. Exactly. So it's creating- like specific details for the target audience. And give you more things. For example, hey, this type of people might have these channels. So you, can, you might take advantage of these channels to mm -hmm. sell to these people. So it starts recommending you and give you the advantage. Obviously, there's uh, some problems on that because it's always based on ChatGPT, and ChatGPT is based on a database that you don't know where was it trained. Mm -hmm. So right now, the, it's the the disadvantage of that. But I would th I think it's it's a great way. Mm -hmm. and, and and this and the other thing is that this guy created this using a no code. Well, he used a low code platform. Basically, he's not a developer, but he used a platform that lets you use drag and drop and connect APIs from, for example, ChatGPT to get his business What's running. API again? API, remember, is the way you connect to another software, another system. Okay, what's the name? I don't know the, the letters of okay. API, but it's yeah. very, very well, well used. Okay, for example, so if you want to connect to uh, Facebook, let's yeah. say, you use the API of Facebook to oh, connect. Okay, okay, so it's like a code specifically for me. Exactly. Software or company, exactly. and then this connects you to the. Oh, okay. Exactly. And all software have to, or some of them not allow like this connection? It depends. It depends, and some allow some things, and some allow more things. For example, in my in my startup, the one that I, I created some years ago, we had to create some APIs to connect to others. So our developers had to create these connections. It's like highways to connect to others. Could you connect it to, let's say, WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, and answer to your friends and family? 
it depends it depends on the I, I don't know if if for example meta <laughs> allows that yeah. but I mean it can be used so you can answer your significant other hey hello how are you yeah I'm doing well how are you I've Does seen it? I've seen a couple of interesting <laughs> things I've okay seen some interesting things a guy uh, I created uh, like a chat GPT for that responded to his, his emails no his his <laughs> whatsapps okay no but it was interesting okay. I just saw it I just saw it, uh, a couple of days before yeah. in, in in TikTok and this guy created his own bot mm -hmm. AI bot that learned from all his conversations online and he said like okay but this can be as a bot so what he did was he also used a platform where you can clone your voice okay and he recorded 10 minutes of voice he paid obviously for that and he cloned his voice and now his text that the AI was creating was transformed into a voice note with his voice. Do you know the name of this platform? Um, I can I can get it to you and put it in the, in the comments in the comments below. Put in the comments. So this guy created a bot to mm -hmm. uh, to respond his own uh, conversations in WhatsApp, and he was like, okay, I'm gonna let it for uh, two days to see what happens, and he responded to 40 WhatsApp messages. He created some rules, for example, like the bot could not start a conversation; it could only respond to conversations. What happened is that it started uh, when, when he when he checked his, his data, it started creating some hallucinations. I would say the first thing is that it tried to respond with an emoji, but it did it through a voice note. So it, it the voice note sounded like rrr, 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 rrr. <laughs> so that, that was one problem. And the other problem is that he realized he did not put a limitation on the conversation. So the bot always responded. So it's like, okay, bye, bye. Well, bye. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Let's go. Okay. And he did, never stopped. So, but but at the end of the day, he did it and he connected to his own WhatsApp. So did people find out? Interesting. Uh, well, he, he was, uh, no, I don't think so. I, I don't think he, he people find out because it was his own voice. Now, and that's the other thing, Andres. So with these AI tools, and, and Mid Journey just released uh, their last release, and it was like incredible the mm -hmm. the quality of the people that it creates, mm -hmm. um, and the deep fakes are now like easier to, to create, easier to do. There's a lot of accounts online of people that do impressions, but are really deep fakes of artists. So imagine the possibilities. If, if I can clone your voice, your face, and everything based only like on the tweets that you have made before or interviews that you've been. Uh, imagine the possibilities, no? It can, it can open up to, to scams. And that's one of the big problems of AI, you know? But it is, it is not possible to stop it. So I mean, it can keep you in contact with all your friends? What do you mean? I don't know, you put the AI bot to text all your friends, so you always stay in contact? Yeah, but that, that's like a, a good way of using the AI, but imagine someone that is going to take your personality or, yeah. you know, take, take over your life I mean, at like some point, they will answer you with their own AI. So is AI talking to the other AI? Yeah, and, and that's scary stuff. Imagine that they learn. AI uses another AI to learn, for example. Yeah, it's talking to the AI from someone else and then yeah. keeping the conversation and you see, <laughs> oh, okay. Where else it stops? Yeah, exactly, where do you know? Also for, yeah, then this, where does it stop, right, with that? Yeah. Keeping the conversation. Also for teaching, I mean, how can teachers prevent in using AI for, or kind of how, or maybe how could they modify it? Because I mean, it's unavoidable, right? At this point, it's better that kids learn properly instead of just lying, oh, I didn't use it, but rather, oh, I use it, but I use it in a way that it's correctly, I guess. The way we learn things will be completely different. Yeah, and I would say, and as I said before, the the key here is creativity and using mm -hmm. things in the creative way. Uh, teachers, and, and I am myself, I'm a teacher as well in university, mm -hmm. we, we cannot just deny that this exists. Like people, students will start using it. So as you said, we need to be creative on how we use it with our classes and how do we teach them to use it in the proper way, like instead mm -hmm. of uh, asking them to create a, uh, an article, for example, that basically an AI can create or that you can Google up, uh, you, you need to be more, uh, you need to take like an, a more uh, critical thinking approach, for example, mm -hmm. like analyze this or, or using AI tools, how can you do this and that, creating, making them be more creative on the prompts that they mm -hmm. use, for example. But also the AI is helping a lot uh, to teachers. Like there's a lot of uh, artificial intelligence tools that are creating and are helping teachers to create tests to to uh, evaluate do their evaluations faster, for example, mm -hmm. as well 
Um, so I think the future of education uh, is personalization. And I think AI is the best way where teachers can use it as superpowers to do the personalization. So mm -hmm. I have a class of 30 people and through AI, I can teach them and help them how to use those tools to learn the way they need to learn, for example. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if the educational systems of, of the countries are ready for that, but I'm sure mm -hmm. uh, with these tools, that's the way we should go. That's the way the world is, is going mm -hmm. to move now. What about in the finance system? Do you feel like there's already going into that people making money using that? There's always this uh, conspiracy theory that, uh, you know, that the best financial institutions have used AI tools like from a long time ago uh, to manipulate the market, for example. Mm -hmm. And I would say it is possible. It is possible uh, if you what have... sense? Manipulation? M many senses. It doesn't need to be a, a tool that tells you what stock to buy. It can be just a tool that creates millions of Twitter accounts and that start creating uh, like scary text or tweets about one company and it goes down and then all of a sudden the opposite and then mm. it goes up. So there's many, many ways in which AI can be used in the wrong, in the wrong ways. No? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say financially, there's, there's so many tools right now that, that many for free that can help you analyze like stock markets or your financial records, for example, mm -hmm. and it can help, help you make decisions. Um, but at the end of the day, and, and the, the stock market, for example, one of the examples, it is about the masses, you know, how the masses move and whatever. And if you can manipulate the masses, you can definitely manipulate stock markets. You know? So, so the, the people that are making the laws need to also make sure that correct legislations are in place as to prevent someone uh, using that. And if someone use it, like, how can you give them the exemplary uh, punishment so mm -hmm. no one else uses it, no? Okay, well, this is quite interesting. So what could someone do right now? Like, okay, someone has heard of ChatGPT, maybe they try it, where can they find the rest of the resources? If there is a place that they can see, okay, I want a tool that can be used, I mean, for images, we talk about mid-journey, or if someone wanted a tool for the voices or for whatever, where can they go? Okay, great questions. Um, this, this technology is moving very, very fast, and uh, the great thing is that it's now moving fast towards mm -hmm. consumers. So we as normal people are now being able to use more and more tools that will help us uh, be more efficient and effective in our work and daily mm -hmm. life. So I would recommend to always uh, do your homework, start looking around. One, one website I really like, and you can put it in the comments, is uh, futuretools.io. Mm -hmm. It lists all the tools, or supposedly all the tools of AI and it, it, in categories. So you can also like, uh, if you're, a, if you're a, an architect, for example, and you mm -hmm. want to look for tools for design, there's hundreds of tools there uh, that can help you make designs or, or transform uh, uh, a design into a, a render, for example. So there's many tools. Mm -hmm. And I would say do your homework, start looking. Uh, don't, don't stop just with one tool. Uh, don't be afraid of using it. Learn. Also, there's so, there's so many um, online classes, online tools, free online resources on how to uh, create a great prompt. Uh, what should a great prompt for text? What should a great prompt for images should be? Um, and also to, to look about the, the safety uh, things that you should mm -hmm. know, no? Mm. For example, what not to ask, what mm -hmm. not to give. There's some websites that look very great and ask you mm -hmm. some information and then what are they going to do with this information? So be careful, but also uh, be resourceful. So look I mean, for I guess it's something that people could use to prevent scams. Like you put it in, hey, ChatGPT, I got this information you think is a scam and then they can tell you around like I don't know if, if we're there yet so I would not rely just on ChatGPT for so many things such as this one yeah I think it is up to us to, to create at least mm -hmm. creativity and at least mm -hmm. uh, uh, critical thinking uh, but yeah you, you should you should try using these tools like to help you you know um, I as personally I have a, a company that that creates diagnostic tests of uh, math and uh, reading and, and vocabulary, for example, and I ran all my, my exams 
on ChatGPT just to see if ChatGPT would pass it. And at least the free version of ChatGPT would not pass it. Mm -hmm. So, and it's very, very simple uh, questions. But at the end of the day, ChatGPT is limited. It's mm -hmm. not a general AI. It's a very specific AI training a very specific uh, set of data. So you should you should be careful of not trusting face value everything that that it gives you. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. But it, it does help you. It does give you an, an advantage on many things. Okay, okay, this is good to know. And for productivity, is there any specific trick that you have learned that help you be more productive or more organized with your time and work? Well, definitely my, my best tool is, uh, it is ChatGPT for, for productivity in general, but there's so many tools that, that are out there. For example, one of the things that I also use is the um, AI assistant for virtual meetings. So mm -hmm. now you can just invite this virtual assistant. I use Firefly.io. Mm -hmm. And basically, it, it, if you're have, having a meeting with you, mm -hmm. in the meeting will be you and me and then Firefly. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the meeting, it just takes all, everything we talked, and it gives you a summary, it gives you a transcription, and it gives you like who, who speak the most, every important information, it gives you, give it to you mm -hmm. in, a, in a summarized way. So it's very good. Another, another, another thing that I'm also using is and basically to be more effective, mm -hmm. you know? for example, I get a research paper or something that I have that is very, very long that I will eventually read, but I need to get the information fast. There's some, uh, some websites, AI powered websites, for example, I think it's SafeList or something like that. I'm also mm -hmm. going to give you the, the link that basically you upload a, a, a PDF or mm -hmm. upload a website, for example, a very big website that I want to search for mm -hmm. uh, FAQs, for example, and I just upload the website and it creates a chat GPT bot based on this information. So now you can ask the, the PDF, mm -hmm. hey PDF, what's the three main points of your article? And it can be 150 pages PDF mm -hmm. and it, it will give you all the information. Can you summarize it? Can you create three uh, posts based on the relevant information? So everything you can ask now, uh, like a PDF or a website mm -hmm. or a summary of a video. So oh, you can okay. now upload a video of YouTube. Actually, that's one of, we're going to do that. When this video is finished, some of you guys would use this platform, take the summary and get it. I, also, I need you to watch the video because there's some great information here, but it's also very good to have like the key okay. points, key points. Of so it will be, yeah. so they give you directly like the highlights. The highlights, yeah. Okay, we're going to try it and upload it as well. Yeah. The thing is there is a tool we can use to edit, so it just zoom here people, the faces when they're talking? There is one, I would, I would also, Look for that because I saw it before. Yep. Uh, that basically, when we're having conversations like this, automatically does the editing of who's who's speaking. I don't know if it's going to work in in this particular setup that you mm -hmm. have. Uh, the, but yeah, there's there's basically an AI tool for every job right now. I, I I saw a company that is using AI and like visual recognition mm -hmm. technology to recognize the weeds that are in the in the okay. in the camps for example you are you're having let's say rice you're a farmer of rice and there's some weed that is that is killing the rice so instead of using pesticides and stuff like that mm -hmm. like chemicals it's basically uh imagine a track uh, a, mm -hmm. a tractor that is using ai visual ai to recognize the the weeds and with laser beams it's burning specifically the weeds mm -hmm. there's also I, I i saw another one that is uh, a farmer of uh, apples so it has like a big truck that is going through the apple fields and it has these drones with uh, small drones with a, like a hand and the dr each drone has a camera and sees if the apple is ready or not so if it's ready and it starts like recognizing if it's ready it takes the apple it takes the, it, it does the, the twist mm -hmm. to take it out take it out and put it in the truck and it's doing this many many times faster than human beings so of course then you say where are these human beings that were the farmers? They're probably going to get fired. Well, no, many of these people, you're, basically you're not going to need 50 people to do the same job, but now you can use 10 or 5 that will learn how to fix these things, learn how to manage these mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So it's all about uh, upskilling and reskilling mm -hmm. people. Uh, because AI is here, there's mm -hmm. no way that we can stop it right now. So either we surf the wave or we get the wave to take us down and and drown us. Nice, nice. I mean, this is so interesting. There's so many things and um, people can apply it. I hope everyone can try in their own discipline, in their own work or trying to get better in their own 
for themselves to try to play a tool. And is there anything else you want to add? Well, I would, I would like to ask your audience like, to, to put in the comments, like what tools are you guys using mm -hmm. uh, personally or, or in the work? And my last message would be just uh, do your research and learn how to use these tools. Don't be afraid of them. It will help you if you let these tools help you. Um, of course, many of these new technologies will replace a lot of jobs, but many, many, many others will be created. So be one of the people that work in the new jobs instead of complaining about the jobs that are not existing anymore. No, I'd say, exactly, exactly. Is there any way the audience can know if this is a real conversation? <laughs> or this is a... I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Well, we can all be bots right now and you let us never know. Let us know what you think, if it's a real conversation or just an AI generated conversation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for coming and then any questions please put it in the comments and thank you for joining. Ciao ciao!